Hello and well met. I'm Bushido for Dry Socks AAR and welcome back. And here we are. We have finally uh, patch 2. Dot, correction 0 0.21 for Armored Warfare, uh, Eye of the Storm. Uh, uh, there is a substantial amount of changes. Um, first and foremost, uh, what you can see in front of me is you can actually now have uh, the garage simplified. Um, first off, again, we've all heard and now the changes with the UI, how it's very Watt-like. Um, and again, I, I still kind of like the old one. Um, this one here has finally kind of grown on me because really it's all I got. It's not like I can flip back to the old way. Um, I just question their motive for doing it. The longer I thought about it, I was like, so is the intent with the UI to look like Watt? So when Watt players come over, it feels more familiar. I think that ship has sailed a little bit um, because all the Watt players that came to Armored Warfare have already tried it. They know what the game is. They don't need to be familiar. Um, so I'm not sure what the overall motive was for this. Um, and I'm not going to deliberate on it too much. Um, personally, I like the simplified UI with the no background. Uh, I happen to run mods in the other tank games that do this exact same thing. I really give a rat's ass what is in the background. I just want to see the vehicle. And I think this allows, uh, you know, again, for a lot of people that are running potatoes, um, sorry, that's being negative, uh, you know, it does cut down on the garage intensity. Um, and with Armored Warfare, um, I think this is a good thing because really the garage UI with the floating, I don't know what the hell they had going on there. It really looked like ass in my opinion, and I just prefer it this way so I can see the vehicle. Um, so, again, here we are. Um, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to rail on the UI good or bad. I'm just going to point out what has changed again, um, and we'll go from there. Um, and again, this is a review of just initially the changes inside of patch uh, 0 0.21, Eye of the Storm. It's going to be hard to rattle that off several times here as we go along. Um, so again, the first thing that really sticks out is uh, you can now, uh, you go to, uh, you go ahead, I'll show you how to do this, you go ahead and hit why in the hell? For some reason, my keyboard isn't responding there. That was weird. Anyway, settings. Go to settings, and it's under graphics. And you come down here, and you just flip it to simplified, and then you have no background um, garage uh, wallpaper. Um, and again, some people... Uh, it sounds like some people, even when they started up, they defaulted to this. And so I assume that's some type of detection saying, hey, your computer can't run this. We've got to turn off the garage. Um, I had to actually go in and flip it off. Uh, and again, I'm not trying to rail on, uh, you know, uh, I assume most North American players have a pretty good computer. We're not from Russia, for crying out loud. Um, it does feel like they have done some more to polish the UI. This here feels a little bit more distinct and sticks out The uh, right here. And then when we hit advanced, um, oh, this is interesting. You can just advance the tank. I like that a lot. Um, starting to look a little cleaner. Uh, upgrade wise this looks about the same not not a whole lot new here um, this is pretty pretty standard um, as it's been for a little bit I think the big change is when I'm going to go to the dealers yes as you notice now again the dealer has become more I hate to say it world of tanks like um, is this bad again I'm not going to go on to that too much I actually uh, now think okay at least now it blends with the UI before we had this Frankenstein uh, UI of mix of old and new and I think even as I go through this there's still going to be some old UI that sticks out uh, I don't from my understanding there's not 100% here um, be honest this actually I think maybe flows better I struggled with the whole zoom in zoom out of the dealer thing it was just like why what is this why can't why is this got to be this way uh, I, I kind of like to be fair, World of Tanks has been doing it for a while, and it's one of those things like, well, it works. Don't don't fix it. Um, and yes, World of Tanks allows you to do mods, do whatever you want. I'm not going to go into my mods rant. Um, so anyway, um, this is okay. It'll take me a little bit to get used to it. 
Um, but overall, I don't see a downside. This at least again, the UI flows with itself. Um, so anyway, uh, let's go on to inventory. The see now here's a window right here. Okay, here's a window that is kind of from the old UI. So again, we still got some Frankenstein going on to this, and I have a feeling this is just going to be ongoing over the next patches. Um, this patch come late. Um, what I would consider late. Um, I felt Armored for Affair was really getting on a good rotation of bug fix, small update, about two months large update, uh, give or take. This one drifted a little longer. Um, and I'm going to say I'm a little upset because of I felt personally, even though Armored Warfare, My.com, all of them are saying it wasn't because of that because it's two different teams, whatever. Um, I'm sorry, there's an impact overall, and it was because of GamesCon. Uh, you blew off your current customer base to demo for the PS4 at GamesCon, to focus on GamesCon, and I don't care what they say, I think it got delayed because of that. Now, again, here we are. And was it a huge delay? Uh, yeah, I... I don't know. I mean, I expected this about two weeks ago. Uh, we all know when it hit the Russian server, and usually after it hits the Russian server, it's about a week and a half to two weeks to North America, Europe. Um, and the only reason everybody's mad <laughs> is because, let's be honest, we're all starving for content. The only thing that's going to keep this game going right now is content, 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 and consistency, stabilization, get this going. And they were starting to get there, and then this kind of come in. So I'm hoping uh, zero, uh, two, two, I'm hoping 2-2 two, two, um, comes out, maybe comes a little sooner, because that should have been already in the works. So we should be following up with that here pretty quick. I'm thinking um, October, end of October, about around the second week of October, third week of October would be about right. Um, so anyway, uh, again, nothing super new here, but I, I, again, I do like the simplified UI. Moving on, let's just click the challenges window did change. Uh, so again, it blends in with the UI. Um, we don't need to see those at startup, that's for sure. Uh, battalion, okay, old window. All right, whatever. Kill it. Dossier. Same, very much the old way. Um, again, I have, as I said, I think this is just going to be an ongoing thing for them. Uh, not going to be too much uh, change there. Um, go back to garage here. Let's check some of the other windows. Yeah, see friends list. And again, it's getting kind of nitpicky, but still, I mean, um, it's it just you know, if you're going to change the UI, do the whole god dang thing. You know, don't give me a Frankenstein. Um, but again, I'm just going to do, um, I'm just going to, uh, uh, roll with this here. So the next thing that comes into play for this patch is, uh, there was some vehicles added and I'm going to show you those in one second. Had a text from the wife. Um, so let's go into that real quick. So uh, I believe they went under um, this guy right here, Zhang Zhao Fang. And here we go. All right. Uh, we have starting at tier six. So it looks like you've got to, uh, out of multi purpose vehicle requisition, 88 out of 150 fought with Taovang vehicles. Okay, so I haven't really focused a ton on my Chinese or the Zhang Fang vehicles, Chinese vehicles, it, whatever, same thing. Uh, and my understanding, these are all Polish vehicles. Um, and so uh, I have not, I do not have the, the glorious uh, thing to be able to unlock them. Uh, I have so much free, um, uh, free XP that I'll just unlock it and we don't care and then I can pick the first vehicle and go or start playing around with it and I'll probably do some videos playing on that later on but again if you have not done your uh, this line or, or done enough playtime enough battles in these vehicles um, you will have to do what I just did or continue to do battles I was just like 55,000 free XP um, I don't even convert anymore I have so much of it I'm just like who cares um, I honestly, I think I could unlock a lot of stuff and not even have to play it. But I kind of just play and just keep going. I save that stuff for when I get literally, especially hung up on gun upgrades and stuff. I never use it generally to unlock a vehicle. Um, but anyway, so the vehicles we got, 
Um, let's kill that. Um, let's. Oops, sorry guys, I screwed that up. I think I can go here and say preview it. We're going to just preview it. So we have the BVP M2 SKCRZ Seckle. Um, it looks like a uh, um, kind of like an infantry fighting vehicle. I'm not sure on the gun caliber. I'm sure we could uh, do some stats on that. Um, let's see here. T -t 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 details. So here we go. Maybe we'll stick with the details here first. So it's a multi purpose vehicle. Uh, recon package installed. Um, let's see here. Got a little bit of history on it. I'm not going with this because a lot of people can read this. And me just reading it verbatim is kind of boring. Pick on the, you know, the kind of, you know, you got hull composition steel, turret composition steel, and uh, um, I'm trying to see what gun it's got. Penetration 8 millimeters. It just tells me damage, but it doesn't tell me if it's like a similar to like a Bradley, like a 25 millimeter Bushmaster or something like that. Um, probably have that somewhere, but anyway, we'll move on to the next one. Let's look at the details of this guy. All right, now we have another. This is like having a uh, um, a striker vehicle similar to or a lab, another multi-purpose vehicle. Um, pretty much getting the same type, but you start getting into a little bit of high hardness space steel armor on the hull and a hybrid composite on the turret. Um, a lot of these vehicles here that you're seeing uh, are fairly new. Um, again, they're from Poland. Uh, so, you know, Poland has a history of being old, you know, Soviet vehicles. So the vehicles you're seeing are, you know, uh, and again, I'd have to do a little research, but definitely probably in the last maybe two decades uh where they're starting to develop their own vehicles um and so that's why you're getting this kind of uh um look um again you know poland most of their stuff was pre or, or old soviet you know when they were part of the of of the warsaw pack and all that um so this is very interesting i think this is kind of cool um, and it's definitely, as I said, new content. We have some new vehicles in the game. See how they do. Um, and so uh, uh, I'm very interested. And to best see how the 9 and 10 plays out. Um, so, um, again, very exciting to see. You know, not a ton of new vehicles. We're not talking a whole brand new thing. Um, but still, you know, something something to play with. And, you know, what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to confirmly buy this. I have the money. And uh, I will start setting it up. So the other changes, uh, real quick. Um, again, I try to hold these videos to around 15 minutes. Um, there is a new map added. I believe there is also... Uh, some of the other maps have been reworked for Glops. Uh, and if you don't know um, right now, let's just take a look at that. I'm going to pull out this. And I'm curious to see. Uh, I finished my Episode 2 content. Um, I am interested to see is there actually people still doing Glops um, out there. And right now on North America, it does seem pretty dead. Um, let's just double check the PvP. Um, and let's see what we get. All right, so again, so here's the drawback right now for North America. Um, it's concerning about uh, the state of the game for North America in PvP. It did pick up, I will admit, um, the intent of maybe the episodes is to... Um, I'm going to mark this as favorite. There we go. Um, to get the uh to get um some people to try new things and the episodes seem to do that but i don't think it, it's sustainable um first off these events are great but i think a lot of times it, and as in my case they have a tendency to burn you out um and i had to take a break i was running glops to get my what i needed to get my hunter and i got it and i'm like okay i'm burned um i did try to hang every couple nights just to make sure i was out there to give people um you know a body you know some more bodies but it was it was dropping hard as it got closer and closer to the event being complete people who just weren't sustainingly being out there um and again it is early for north america uh, I'm Mountain Daylight Time, and it's about 1,600 hours. And uh, I am looking for um, 
you know, maybe around 20 hundred hours, I take a peek um, and just see is there maybe some people out here doing some stuff. Um, but overall, uh, I do believe North American PvP is just really in a sad state. And I think the only way to fix it is to really merge Europe and North America. And us North Americans just live with the latency to Europe. Um, it's not that bad. I've done it. I just am not starting over with another account on the Europe server. If I got to do that, I'm just I'm going to tap out. Um, and as I've said, I, I did PvE, what I needed for the episode and the um, content there. Uh, but as I said, PVE to me is just a sideshow. Um, it's kind of fun every once in a while, but it doesn't last very long, in my opinion. Um, I want to play against real players, and I'm actually a global operations fan. Uh, I'd rather play that in straight up PvP. Uh, straight up PvP is also just as boring as PVE. It's pretty much static. I like the globs. I like where there's a bunch of things for different people to do all the time. And I know that has a varied opinion, but that's just how I feel. Um, anyway, uh, other changes. There is a ton of changes. There is a ton of changes. Uh, and I recommend I am not going to be one of those guys that sit here and read through everyone through the patch notes. The one that sticks out is heat rounds. It's going to be interesting. Does the heat round become the new HE round? They are hitting harder. Um, so I look forward to testing that out. Um, and uh, there's subtle other changes throughout there. I heard the Terminators have kind of taken a little bit of a nerf bat uh, as far as their armor goes. And again, I look forward to testing that. Um, but these are all just things that I don't want to tie up into one video. Um, I need a little bit of play time to absorb it. I just want to get out, throw out. For those people that are thinking about coming back, um, I do recommend trying it. If you have not been in Armored Warfare for a while, I do recommend coming back. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and tell you, oh my gosh, everything is great, because it is not great. <laughs> um, it's just sustaining. It is on life support. Uh, and it's slowly but surely kind of getting better. Uh, and again, I believe that only happens through content, 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 and consistency from the developer. Um, minus the North America's problems with PvP. Um, hopefully that just slowly works itself out too. Um, and that remains to be seen. Anyway, uh, as always, guys, uh, please leave your comments down below. Give me your thoughts. Uh, give me a thumbs up, whatever. Uh, you know, and just tell me how you feel. Um, or, you know, are you thinking about coming back? Um, you know, again, I recommend at least giving it a shot. I know some people, the download's huge, whatever. Um, and it is. Um, but I do recommend if you've been away for a while to come back in and, you know, kind of see some of the changes. Um, it's definitely worth the trip in. Um, I still continue to play quite frequently, and I've been grinding it out. I do fall off the wagon quite a bit because there's only PVE for us North American people. Uh, the episode did kind of bring back a little bit of PvP, but again, I think everybody got so burned out from trying to complete it. <laughs> anyway, this is Arm Bushido for Dry Socks AR, and uh, I hope you all have a great day, and may Odin welcome you to Valhalla. <laughs>